Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the Monthly Defense Innovation and Ask Me Anything with Capital Factory. Um, before we get started today, I would just like to take a moment um, and say a special thank you to our sponsors at CACI. And we have a, a quick little video to show you before we get started. Man, what a video, huh? We need to we need to work on one of those for Capital Factory. Um, my name is Helena Krusek, and I'm the Senior Corporate Venture Associate with Capital Factory. Uh, my job is to help our portfolio companies and the startups in our entrepreneurial community to better access um, opportunities in the government, to learn how to apply to different government contracting opportunities and interact with the industry partners that are here in our ecosystem. I'm excited today to tell you about Capital Factory and all of what's happening with our Center for Defense Innovation in 2021 and how to plug into our defense ecosystem. Capital Factory is the lightning rod for startup activity in the state of Texas and now virtually online. We bring hundreds of thousands of entrepreneurs, programmers, designers, and more with the goal of helping them to meet our next met their next mentors, investors, employees, and customers. We have boots on the ground in virtually every corner of the state of Texas, and we pride ourselves on being one of the most active early stage investors in the state. We like to say that what we're doing here at Capital Factory is truly unique, and there's a couple of things that highlight that point. Um, first is the Texas Startup Manifesto, which is the mission from which we build everything here at Capital Factory. It's this ideology that connects the entire Texas ecosystem into one giant marketplace. Our physical presence and virtual activity attracts a pipeline of talent, investors, customers, all of those that we share with that marketplace. Um, that activity has also led us to build a new center of gravity for all things defense innovation. Uh, this started back in 2018 with the Defense Innovation Unit anchoring themselves here, and then the Army Futures Command's unprecedented selection of Austin as their headquarters, their second headquarters in 2019. Um, with all of this, we've seen this huge uptick in government and commercial activity, allowing us a new lens through which to provide resources for the startups in our ecosystem. So what do we mean by the Texas Startup Manifesto? Uh, the Texas Triangle uh, really cements this ideology. It's anchored by the four major cities in Texas, Dallas-Fort Worth, Houston, Austin, and now also San Antonio, we've added to that list. Uh, collectively, we're the 10th largest economy in the world and truly unique in that we are all within driving distance of each other. So the real uh, ment the mentality around the Texas Startup Manifesto is that if you can drive to Dallas, if you can drive to Houston or Austin, you have no excuse to not meet with every single important person that can help your business to thrive. And so we're trying to empower entrepreneurs to do that. Um, these metro centers have a ton of talent, corporate presence, and now government entities that are actively working to spur innovation. Um, as an organizational goal, we want to touch every great startup in the state of Texas, and we've been successful in doing so by championing this strategy and creating a conduit for entrepreneurial resources, regardless of your physical location. We do this primarily through our VIP Accelerator, where we provide venture advisory services to help companies scale, raise money, bring on new talent, and conduct business development. We also conduct this mission by bringing in VIPs into the ecosystem. And by VIPs, we mean important folks from outside of the startup community, showing them what Texas has to offer and giving entrepreneurs the opportunity to demo their technology for them. Notable alumni of our VIPs include uh, 45th President of the United States, Barack Obama, Tim Cook, CEO of Apple, Satya Nadella, CEO of Microsoft, Alexis Ohanian, founder of Reddit, and many, many others, um, particularly really interesting folks that have come in uh, to work with the Army, right? So we had uh, Secretary of the Army Ryan McCarthy and Commanding General Mike Murray come in for a surprise drop-in. 
these were all back when our spaces were open. And this also happened, uh, this next one, this VIP roundtable, Secretary of the Air Force, Barbara Bur uh, Barrett came in, uh, you know, just showing that we are still capable of working even during uh, the COVID lockdown. Um, what does this all have to do with defense? Uh, specifically regarding the Center for Defense Innovation, a um, couple years ago, the Secretary for Defense, Ash Carter, really kick-started this movement towards defense in 2016 when he set up to find locations across the country to connect the defense community to venture-backed, uh, really dual-use companies to help innovate the government applications. Um, this shined this spotlight of defense innovation on Texas. Next, bringing in the Air Force in 2017. Uh, Army Features Command came to town shortly after that in 2018, as I mentioned. And then the Texas Military Department, who launched their Innovation Task Force at our Fed Supernova event back in July. Uh, since the opening of the Center for Defense Innovation, we've been incredibly busy um, helping over 30 companies in our orbit to win over $60 million worth of de uh, Department of Defense contracts and launch the Cyber Accelerator to help companies specifically tap into Cyber, uh, the Small Business Innovation Research Grant opportunities. Um, we're going to talk about that a little bit more today. Um, my guest today will be talking a little bit more about government contracting, but I wanted to say a quick word about the Cyber Accelerator because this is the next big piece of activity that's coming to the Capital Factory Center for Defense Innovation. Um, we are kicking this off. Uh, it's specifically intended to wrap around the Cyber Open topic. Um, we kick off with Defense Academy, a virtual course designed to help those who don't know where to start to learn about the fundamentals of government contracting, allowing you time to register with SAM, uh, SAM.beta, get your cage code, DUNS numbers, and prepare to launch and apply to Cyber. Um, we held that late earlier in August, and we plan to do so again in early January. Those dates are TBD, so stay tuned. Um, keep coming back and checking in with Capital Factory as we get ready to launch these timelines. Um, we then take those companies who want a phase one application in for an assessment day and shift directly into the Cyber Accelerator, which is a program that is specifically designed to help those who want a phase one application Cyber to win their phase two connecting them to government customers and industry partners to help them supplement those applications. We wrap this up with Fed Supernova in March, which is a, a it's like a collider-like event for everyone involved in the defense innovation supply chain to come together, show what they're working on, and get collaborative. That's a mouthful. And with all that being said, I would love to introduce our guest for today, Vinny Watson. He is the Senior Business Development Executive with CACI to talk to us again about contracting and working with large companies. So Vinny, thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. Hey, thank you for having me, Elena. And, and thank you for doing so much for the startup community in, in Texas. I got to tell you, I, I worked with a venture capital portfolio up in the Bay, Bay Area uh, after I exited active duty as a program manager on the, on the Navy. And all of the things that you just described, I have any startup would should just be frothing at the mouth to, to be part of the part of this, especially the Cyber Accelerator. What you're doing doing there is going to do great things for the state of Texas and anybody that's involved with that. I have little doubt. Little well, doubt. thank you. Thank you so much. I, I certainly hope so. And I will say, you know, based off of our first year of doing this, just the amount of traction, the number of companies who have really promising applications um, with innovation research, it, I, I can only imagine that this will be even better and better. So we're excited to have you here today to talk to us more about ways that startups can get involved in the process. So would you love to take a moment just to tell us a little bit about yourself and what you're doing with CACI? Absolutely. I, I am, I'm, ben, I'm Benny Watson. I live here in Cedar Park, Texas, just north of where uh, Helena and Capital Factory, Factory are located, located, and I work with CACI. I, I was a, a military officer in the United States Navy. I was an acquisition kind of kind of guy. Before that, I was on the uh, I was on, on ships. If you saw the John S. McCain, they hit right next to where I slept on the ships. So I would have been definitely knocked out of Iraq and probably killed if you watch watch the watch the news. My old ship uh, hurt to hurt to see that to see that. After I left the Navy, I was specifically uh, recruited to be be the technical director for a venture capital portfolio in the Bay Area. We had uh, 256 companies in, por in portfolio, and I was part of a managerial SWAT team aimed that uh, helped protect the boss's investment investment into those companies. So we were a resource, kind of like Capital Factory is a, res is a resource. I was, the, I was a technical guy. We had a program manager. We had a, had a marketing genius, a manufacturing genius. And if the boss thought one of his investments might be having some trouble, he would send us in there as a free assistance to them. To them. I ended up starting my own company after, after that. After that, And uh, then I uh, 
came back into defense via circuitous means. I was specifically recruited to help out on a multi-billion dollar uh, dollar effort with CACI. Uh, happy to be back in defense, having a good time. And I actually I actually work with a lot of small businesses every every day. Day. And what I wanted to talk to you all about is about here is uh, here in addition to taking your questions is what is, what's the correct way that you can increase your profit profit line, increase your P win on on some of your own pursuits pursuits and also interface interface with the experience that large major primes and large companies like CACI bring to the ta bring to the table the table the table and the reason I, I thought that'd be a good good topic here is a lot of small businesses are thinking you know I don't want to talk to Raytheon I don't want to talk to CACI I don't want to talk talk to be talk to BA BA because I might not you know be what be what they're looking for believe me that's not that's not the case right now I have a 1.5 billion dollar opportunity in pipeline pipeline i'm in pursuit of the rfp is going to drop here very shortly i'm required by by the uh, government to give 25 percent of all the r d coming in on that to small businesses i like small businesses businesses i like small <laughs> business great. i like small I, I like small businesses that i i, I like to do business with business with and business with and also this you know it's, it's a it's a people people thing and we need you we need you uh, not only on ma on major pursuits. We also also need you on on smaller pursuits. All of you all have heard of o OTAs. OTAs are not just for small companies. Uh, I bid I bid on them. BA bids on on them. Raytheon bids on them, and they're all great all great all great companies. If if we bid on those and we don't have a small non traditional defense contractor, we have to take on part of part of the cost on our own dollar. And believe me, I'm going to avoid that because I like to make money and I'm a good business. And the boss will kill me if I waste his money needlessly when I could get a get a small business that knows what they're doing can add something to the bottom li line and we can cultivate a relationship with so we can not only work with them on the OTA we can say hey we need a small business to sub to us on this ma major multi-billion dollar opportunity two years out over here are you interested of course you are <laughs> at least we hope you say that because you like working with us and we, we we want you to keep doing that doing that so doing that so uh a, just a, a couple couple tidbit tidbits here I'd, I'd like to go over and then I'd love to take as many questions as we, as we can can and uh, take this wherever the audience would like to go uh, the, the first is is large large contractors CACI is uh, 21,500 people and we are we have a multi-billion dollar service services which most people are familiar with we also are a products company we uh, specialize in electronic warfare warfare and so, uh, have very very high-end technical and software products for the products for the, the intelligence community and anything anything to do with signals intelligence or radio frequency we we touch we touch it yeah, touch it touch it sounds like a lot of other major primes and you know we compete with all the major primes does that mean we dislike the major primes in us absolutely not we're subbing to Raytheon on multiple 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 efforts Raytheon is subbing to us on some same with Northrop Grumman same with BA BA I don't think we're doing anything with General Atomics now but I'm talking with them next next week and we hope we hope to be Hope to be so. So all of us like e like each other. I mean, do we compete? Absolutely. We also partner sub to, sub to one another. Another. And if you were to come to, come to let's say uh, one of the guys I'm dealing with at Raytheon, if you you were to talk to them and say, hey, I think CACI is running this thing, but I don't know anybody there. I guarantee you, he would introduce the do make the introduction for you for you. So one, do we compete? Yes. Do we like each other? Abs absolutely. <laughs> So don't be scared to ask any of us for an intro to another one of the major major primes. All right. Two is we mentioned mentioned Sibbers. Sibbers. Sibbers have a have a purpose. Okay, it's not just to give not not just to give you money money. A program manager and I used to I used to be one. One is saying, look, I want to invest in this and I want a small business to build this so I can possibly transition this into a program of rec record at another time or possibly turn that into a program of record into in and of itself. Self now, self. So if you're going to bid on a cyber, one thing you want to make sure that you do is say where. What's the end goal of this thing? Thing. Who is the major prime that is currently the incumbent on the program of record that this will complement for to to get capability down to the end user? Have you talked with that company? Company. If you're going to do the bid, would that company maybe be willing to write you a letter to include your cyber application, saying saying if the, if the cyber is successful. If X, Y, and Z, and if the government funds me, I am happy to work with company at company X. X. If they're the if they're the incumbent and they know the government wants this capability added and they're going to do that via the cyber route, they'd be insane not to because they're throwing away revenue and a relationship with with their program manager. So of course they're going to. 
going to. What that also does is let, let you let you inter interact with them them and further refine their requirements. Because if you were to come to me and I'm the incumbent on that system, let's just pick one that I'm not the incumbent on. Let's say uh, Next Generation Jammer, Raytheon product. Raytheon doing great work out in El Segundo, El Segundo and out, 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 there, out there in California working on Next Generation Jammer and modernizing aviation. If you've got something that would help help them out on, on that, on that, Raytheon would love to absolutely love to love to talk to you, talk to you. So you, you'd go, go to them and say, hey, look, this is coming down the line. We know the government wants it because they put it into, into, into requirement. Are they going to are they going to talk to you and take your phone call? Absolutely. They are. I guarantee they're going to take your phone, phone call, phone call. They want to meet with meet with you. And if they think you're going you're going to win, they might target you for, let's say, merger and acquisition acquisition. And believe me, if you're a small business owner and you get m and would by a major prime, you're going to make a lot of money, which is why you're in business in the first place, other than the fact you enjoy what you do, what you do. So, so, so one, know, know the incumbent, incumbents, know, know where your product is going to go, where it's intended, and cultivate those relationships. Find out what small businesses that program office likes to do business with or what large businesses they like to do, do business with and, and, and try and get a meeting with them, with them. The other thing I wanted to bring up here, here is uh, there's hundreds of, of thousands of small businesses, all of whom great idea, have great, great ideas. ideas and uh, of course, business development executives at the major, major companies like to talk to you, but we don't have unlimited bandwidth just to talk to small businesses. So if one of us doesn't get back, doesn't get back to you, it's not because, not because we don't like you. It's not, not because, because, hey, we're not inter interested. It's because if I have a multi-billion dollar, dollar pipe dollar pipeline and I'm, I'm pipeline and the boss says, Vinny, go out and go out and you win me five hundred million dollars worth of business this, this year, this year. Am I interested in interested in a uh, in a million dollar opportunity to help you out with a cyber? Yes. Million dollars, five hundred million, multi-billion. Guess what I'm going to devote my time to <laughs> my time to. Then he is going to do what the boss wants and make and, make, and makes makes money. And I, but any of us are going to do that, and we will get we will get back back to you. We love love talking to small businesses because that's where a lot of the innovation is. Is the other thing I'd like to get out there is out there is let's say you want you want to prime prime an opportunity opportunity. If there if there's a way that you can prime an opportunity, let's say a small business set aside, and you think that BA Raytheon or Lockmar. Mar Boeing would be the perfect sub to compliment you on that. Don't think that we will not sub to a small business. Business, we are happy to sub to a small business. Business, there is business. I have no problem problem doing doing that. Doing that now. Something to keep keep in mind. Mind there is you all have it. If you're in business and you don't know what GNA is and you're not paying attention to your cash flow statement. Fire your accountant, fire your advisors, advisors, and uh, hit Control Alt Delete and get people who know how to advise you. Advise you. If you talk to me, I'll talk to you about it for a, for a minute. You got to buy me coffee, but I'll, I will definitely, definitely do it. Do it. But you need to understand that. Understand that. There is a cost for a cost for us to sub a major to sub, and the cost for us to sub is uh, sub is significant. There's a different threshold where we have a positive ROI. Return on inv investment in order to make subbing lucrative to us. Us. Let's say there's a small business set aside for uh, I don't know D Six Army Army major program of record run out of, out of Aberde Aberdeen. Are we willing to sub on that if I'm going to try and prime the actual program program of, of record in four years? Oh, you betcha. <laughs> I, I I want I want to, I want to sub. I'm happy to sub to a small small business. I might might even lower my threshold of pain to paying to do to do so do so just just to get in the door and learn more about more about the about that system about that system same system and any major prime is going to be on that so right, so if there's a small business set aside and you think that a company who's going after a large effort with that program office 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 later might be the sub contact them believe me there are advantages to doing that if if if, if i'm if i'm going to sub sub to you believe me BAE, Raytheon, Boeing, CACI, we have mature proposal development and review processes that you flat out cannot afford to execute right now as a small business. You, you, can't, you, can't, you cannot do it, unless, do it unless you've got some of the best financial backers I've ever even heard, heard of. I don't think any VC can stay solvent and fund you, fund you that much. That much you get to take take advantage of it, advantage of that. So there's advantages to having large businesses and mid-sized businesses as, as well as well sub to you on those small business set asides and we're happy happy to do 
do so. There is no reason not to contact some contact a made a large defense contractor if you think they can compliment you you well on that. That that now the other other th other thing to characterize here and be very very cautious of is cash flow matters. Cash flow matters far more to a small business than it does for a large a large business. The majority of my opportunities are two years to four years four years out. Out, flat out. I, do I have some in execution year? Absolutely, because I'm a good BDE and Benny likes to eat. But eat, eat. You all have to think more near term than near term than we we do. So the earlier you can get to us with it, the better we can better we can fit it in. Because if I take on an opportunity near term, I'm going to have a good reason for doing so. I'm going to have build a business case to do so. Do so. And uh, believe me, if I take on something in in year, it's something I know I'm going to either help somebody win or I'm going to win. I'm going to win myself. So if there's going to be a high P win, and I will make the case. So please keep, please keep that, keep that in my in, in mind, right? And also keep in mind when dealing with lar large businesses, businesses, if you, you know, make, you want to send them your in your NDA, your NDA, NDA. I have people that are on salary that will that will go ahead and process that. If I, if I send you mine and you say, whoa, I'm interested in that, I want to have my lawyer look over. You know what you just did? You just increased your GNA cost needlessly because you could have just sent, sent it to me. Send it to me. So take it. Take advantage advantage of the infrastructure of when you deal with a large defense contractor that we have available. 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 Believe me, we like to do do business. I have no problem taking your NDA if I have an issue with it. I'll tell. I'll tell you. It's free feedback from salary from salary contracts and legal legal professionals for you. You're crazy not to, crazy not to do that. And that's just one example of how you can do it. The last thing thing before uh, I always tell the boss the best part of any conversation or any brief is when Vinny shuts up. So. Uh, the last thing I'm gonna 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 say gonna say here here is make absolutely certain you are familiar with some of the some of the great programs that DOD funds and and funds uh, and DHS funds as well. There's a program called Mentor Protege, hey, where if if you're currently doing work, you have to be doing work with us with us. And DOD limits it to two companies, and our, ours are full. I don't know about other major primes. Primes, but if you're a small business, they will fund us. We'll open up a, a open up a, a clin con, a clin on a con, on a contract, and on DoD funding, we'll train you how to do accounting. We'll train you on your CMMI. Uh, they're basically paying you, paying us to teach you on how to do business with business with with the government. Mentor Protege, if you can get that, is a fantastic program. It program, and believe me. Uh, because it, we're in a good relationship with these guys, we're training them. When I have a major opportunity and I need a small, do you think I call these people? <laughs> Bo I know Boeing calls theirs. I know Raytheon calls calls theirs. So if you can get involved in that program, please take advantage of that. That DHS has, un I believe, has un unlimited, unlimited. But I don't think they fund. I actually don't think they fund fund it, even though they're allowed to allowed to do so. I'm not doing any with DHS. DoD, we have two. Have to, and and if you're in, you're in business and you know your congressman, you could say, hey, why don't you expand that? Are you serious about small business? Expand expand this program then, then ag aggravate the heck out of them. They're there for you, <laughs> for you. And if DoD would let me have five, I'd have five, have five. It's a great it's a great program. We enjoy doing it. It's good for small business. It's good for you. So, uh, with that, uh, I'd like to see if there are any questions out there. Anything I can answer? They said ask me anything. Favorite favorite color. Uh, what what have you? I'm I'm ready ready for questions, and if I can I can tell you I tell you I'm absolutely happy to do so. Awesome, thank you, Vinny. All right, so as a quick reminder, anyone who has questions, please feel free to enter them now. Um, I do have a, a softball question while we're gearing up for that, though. So you gave a lot of really good information. Thank you for that. Um, the one question that I have from the very beginning is if I were a company that's never done this before um, and I hear that anyone can do this and anyone can reach out to you, my immediate thought is how do I know when my technology is ready to interact with someone like you, like a prime contractor? Is there a certain um, technology readiness level that you prefer to work with or when internally as a founder, when do I know that I'm ready to start working with you? I'm going to give you the standard defense acquisition university answer answer. And that is it, it depends. And it depends on the nature, nature of what company is doing what, but what, at what, at what time, time, when you look at the Pantheon, Pantheon of TRLs, DOD does business in every single one of them. One of them, they do business all the way from the re, the research labs at the army and Navy research lab, lab AF, FRL, good, great work too. And also all the other government, the FFRDCs, and laboratories, we do it there all the way up to up to base. Basically, I have something that's a TRL nine ready to field right now, right now. And the government does business in all of them. So it's basically where are you at at with regards to your regards to your product product and what's your what's your 
IP plan. And that's another thing as a small company, you protect that IP because that's your bread and butter. Bread and butter, always protect your intellectual property. So are you at a point point in your fundraising, fundraising, fundraising and developing your minimum viable, viable product? Do you want to keep on doing that, doing that? doing that? Do you want to you know, dilute your equity in your company by going to a VC or going VC? Do you want to keep on doing angels funding? And how, how do you, what's your estimate on your development cycle before you can actually make a product on a non-government customer or go to the government yourself itself? If you want government help, things help well, the research labs. And then also some of the uh, systems command and, and have a, have R and D money to get money to give you on, on the, be a broad agency and uh, announcements, announcements and, and that's actual R and D, R and D con contracts, contracts, and et cetera. I mean, that that money is there for you, for you. What you lose when you do that is you lose some IP rights to, rights to that. And believe me, you need to understand what what rights the government gets to your IP when you take the government dollar or a dollar, be it the U.S. government or the Queen shilling. If you if you don't think that uh, the U.K. government will fund a U.S. company to do to do R and D work in a small, I'm here to tell you, as somebody who's gotten millions of pound pounds for clients, they will. They, they, they will. There's a queen shilling, U.S. U.S. dollar, what have you. And, and then again, when you take the queen, take the queen shilling, there's a legal implication of that. So make sure you know what you're doing. You're doing in, in the in the legal right rights that they have have to do so, to do so. So do so. So it 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 depends. It depends. Pens. And you want to make sure if you're going after what they call R and D B A one to B A three work with the research labs. If I don't have work with Army Research Lab right now, but Boeing does. Go to Boeing because I am not. <laughs> you know, you want to make sure the company ha has got to work work in that in that area. Like coming to me for chemical warfare, I don't do chemical warfare. I do it in services. I don't do it in products. So I'm a bad company to do that with. You know, I'm going to refer you over to Patel or, or Patel or some other companies that are big big in that big in that sector. So that's the the, the ambiguous non answer that I can give you. That was a great ambiguous non answer. Thank yeah. you for that, Vinny. Let's uh, let's do a first question from the audience. First question from Sid P. Um, Vincent, he's with Flex Secure. It's a cybersecurity company that has generated interest in the U.S. Army, PEO, EIS, with their senior tech advisor referring us internally. Um, already demoed identity team, so checking how we can partner with CACI to provide our solution to your customers and DOD agencies. Okay, okay, Sid. Now, Sid, Sid already reached out to me on, on, on LinkedIn. LinkedIn. It, like he's down. doing the work. He's coming oh, yes. all oh, yeah, yes, yes. <laughs> Sid, 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 Sid's put me on a spot on a spot spot here spot here publicly publicly. I need to know more about your capabilities capabilities, Sid. So uh, we'll, we'll set we'll set up a time time to do that. And, and and you know you know you're a small business. Don't just don't just come to the Venny. But Venny, let's take a look at where take a look at the, who is currently doing that work with EI, with EIS as the nature of what what it's what it's doing. And I mean, are we the right insertion point? If they if they like you, believe me, I hope I'm the right insertion insertion point point. I, I, I am targeting EIS with with business uh, right now. We're helping pioneer EI, pioneer uh, uh, government oversight of Agile with the with the uh, with EIS, EIS and some ar other Army program offices right right now doing great work great work. So no, I, I I'll definitely get in, definitely get in, get in touch with you. I need to know more about the product is who in EIS you're as you're talking to and what your what your in st in state is. I can't answer that question full question fully without a little bit more information. And I think you'd prefer to do that privately advice here and here in public to do the overall thing, protect the IP, but uh, up to you. <laughs> up to you. Well, and a, a good quick piece, uh, just a real quick plug for Capital Factory. Please get involved with that VIP accelerator that I mentioned previously. My day job is to help connect our portfolio companies to people like Vinny and helping to identify who those government end users are. So if he's not your right person, there's a good chance that we know someone internally at Capital Factory who can connect you to that right contract. So please reach out to us. And, and, cor and corollary, Sid, I I'd like you to find, and if you can't find a POC, I know somebody who, work, who works there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put you in touch with them. In addition to the Capital Factory, uh, Factory, uh, I'm an ex Navy guy. There is a naval activity called Naval X, and they put those in place around the country. I am, uh, I got to talk to Tony Kukolo because I really think we need one here in the state of Texas and Austin, Austin, and uh, Austin. And I think we need to campaign to get it, given the robustness of our startup community. But uh, their whole entire purpose in life is, if a small business has something that the Navy needs, 
they're going to find the program office and put them in touch in touch with them. They don't have funding per se, but they have access to the people that do, and that's their whole purpose in life. So we need to get you in touch with those guys. Navy has a POEIS as well. One of my best friends just le just left there and is a went to San Diego to run uh, be the deputy for carrier modernization uh, for C4I systems out there. So we need to get you in touch with Naval X to see if EIS or possibly POC4I and Navy has got an identical requirement to Army on that. Excellent. You heard it here first. All right. Uh, next question from Chris Fiola. What's the best way to get started with the Center for Defense Innovation during these officeless COVID days? What's the best way to connect with CACI? So Vinny, if you want to do CACI, I'll, I'll talk about Capital Factory afterwards. Oh, C CACI. I, any CACI employee, if you, e if you email them, they will, uh, they're going to put you in touch with, the, uh, touch with the right person. However, if you go to our website and search for small business, business we have got an entire department devoted to making sure that small businesses will get put in touch with the right program manager right business development executive or right scientist within ca caci uh lady uh, vice president for that is nancy nancy root peters and i think you can even find her email address uh, if it is on the, on that web on that website uh, on the website so hit the khaki website at caci.com you um if you're capable of running a small business you will find the small business <laughs> small business portion of the web website website I, I believe every major defense prime will prime will have have that have that and what, what will happen is you tell you send nancy your slick sheet she'll she'll love uh, if it's a uh, in my area she'll i know she'll reach out to me i get at least two or three per week minimum 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 and we'll we'll see we'll see what we can do it do and um you know it never hurts to have a conversation conversation believe believe me uh Believe me, you never know what can, what can come of it. So that's the best way to do business with us. And I have no doubt that General Dynamics, any of the other uh, major defense contractors uh, and midsize, they'll do the same thing. Excellent. And then on the Capital Factory side of things, the best thing you can do is get involved with our VIP advisory program. Um, if you're not in it yet, make sure to reach out to one of our venture associates with Capital Factory. Um, I formerly was on that team, but we have a team of dedicated VAs whose job is to sit in each one of those corners of the Texas Triangle to look for technologies that would be a good fit for something that our government partners are interested in. So get a hold of one of us. Um, please be sure to reach out to me. I'm on LinkedIn as Helena Krusek. Um, you can also get involved with one of our virtual memberships. Just because the physical spaces aren't open doesn't mean we don't have activity. Um, I mentioned it a little bit at the beginning of this. But we have a ton of activity happening in the first 30, 60, 90 days of the year in 2021. So um, if you're not already, make sure that you've got a membership. Contribute to our Slack channels. Get involved. Start having conversations. Get involved with Epic Office Hours. It's hard to not bump into one of these opportunities if you're actively involved with Capital Factory. So that's that's my best piece of advice. Uh, and corollary to what you said, has said Helena, is there is nothing that says you can you cannot go to one of the other major innovation hubs 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 and t and take a gander gander at their event, their events. events. The city of San Diego, San Di the San Diego, Orange County, and Tijuana. And I did say Tijuana. It's not just for tequila shooters. Shooters. They they have got a robust startup community there. They're having their startup week week very very soon soon. And I believe they're doing part of it part of it vir virtual virtual. They put out some great information that's similar to what Cap Capital Factory does in some regards, and it's different different than others. There's differences between there, and there's advantages of you doing that. You can take advantage of of what they're doing out there. And believe me, uh, Tech Coast Angels out in Cal out in California, California. They invest in Texas companies. Texas also invests in California companies. I've closed BNC funding rounds in Texas. Texas, it, it, Texas. They, you know, Minnesota, Minnesota invests in Texas company companies. So, so the major startup areas in, in the in the U.S. All of them have have superb events. You can go go check out, and many of them are free. Free is good, especially if you're a small small business business and, and, and business, and they'll have good advice. You can get some information from them. Excellent. Let's uh, get the next question on screen. This one's from Douglas Dotan. Uh, Vinny, we have innovative med tech for the U.S. military hospitals. Can you help us get access to make a pitch to the right person? Sounds like another personal one, but um, uh, no, you add to that? Oh, Doug, Doug hadn't re Doug hadn't reached out, out to me. We we do have we do have some med med medical contra contracts. We run medical logistics for getting people injured in war in injured in war zones from. From from there over to here, and also doing a lot of the logistics and supply. Fly, shoot shoot us a shoot us a line either to, either to uh, you put Kevin Farmer's email address me or, me or uh, Nancy or the small small business uh, office, and she'll get you in touch in touch with the right with the right people on that on that. Also, I would definitely Battelle does a lot of good work in the in the medical field field. Definitely definitely check with check with them them. I don't think they sold off their medical div division, and they they were doing a lot of great work 
work there too. So make sure and get with them, them too, not just us. You want to get to the right person and optimize your, your uh, attack vector. Excellent. Can we get the next question? Um, from John Terlizzi, does CACI work with EMS or CM manufacturers? Oh Lord, we work with a lot of manufacturers of all of all shapes and sizes. We have a small business. Uh, we have a, a, a services center in, in, in Oklahoma for manufacturers specifically to deal with that. Uh, that this, that this, our small business business site can get you in, in touch in touch with touch with them. You register as a, as a manufacturer and a, and, a, and a vendor. We and a, and a vendor with us, and then when we have a requirement requirement, if you're registered in our system, boom, we'll we'll go we'll go into that. Uh, then another thing for small businesses is, is this fire to, fire to synapse is make sure you go to SOCOM, Special Operations Command. They're more than just tough guys who go out and kill people in PT like there's no tomorrow. No tomorrow. They have a great system called Vulcan where you can register in there and, and do a capability. If you register in Vulcan, if any SOCOM program office happens to need a capability, they do search that. And if you're registered in, in there, you could get a phone call. One of the companies I used to I used to mentor a, cl a client, uh, they registered in there. Lo and behold, boom! They got they, they got a phone call in two weeks. It was stunning, stunning, stunning. They called me up, Benny. We did what you said, and it worked. I'm like, okay, great. <laughs> Keep doing it. <laughs> Excellent. All right, Rebecca, can we get the next question on screen? If not, oh, there we go. All right, baby, to it. Um, from Eddie Dean, uh, local in Cedar Park, um, does CACI have a BDE that works with blockchain companies or do you work with blockchain companies at all? Not specifically for blockchain. That's en encompassed under cyber, under cyber. I can uh, put you in touch with the with the right guy for that. He's a guy named Rob, da Rob Dobbinspeck. Uh, aside from his association with me, he is a very nice guy and would be able to further talk to you on, on that. On that. I, I, uh, I avoid that and uh, deal in the electronic warfare. But to, I, I, again, if you hit the small business, hit Kevin Farmer, myself, myself, we'll put you in touch with, with Rob. And I know that he does, does, some, does some work with that. Excellent. Next question, please. From the Whisper Company. Uh, they have a patent pending real-time biometric secure and private communications technology. Um, they're bringing it to market as an iOS app. Um, they want to know, would you invest as an MVP or would you more likely to want a license? Ooh, you, you're getting the DAU, DAU answer. It, it, answer, it depends. We, we also have a secure pro, a product line our, ourselves called Steel, called Steel Box. Steelbox that we that we run, that we run. I don't think Steelbox is, is uh, doing biometrics, so I'd be very very intrigued intrigued on that uh, on that. We do invest in companies and companies. It's not very often. If we're going to invest in another co another company, we tend to do the full on merger and acquisition a acquisition, the, the grand full Monty. One might one might say say, but we do in, do invest, and we will we will take a look at licensing IP IP and it's it's et cetera et cetera. Again, if you contact the small business business office, we, we can do that. And, any major prime, prime is like that. Coming to a major prime in a, in a funding round, that's a crapshoot. Uh, and we're not a major prime or a, a large defense contractor. That's a crapshoot. It all depends on the company's investment strategy, and that can change from year to year to year, year to year. I mean, a lot of a lot of companies in, in the current envi environment carried a lot of people on 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 indirect for COVID. So, okay, if you, if you carry people on indirect indirect for COVID, as I know, I know BAGD did. Everybody did. I don't think Raytheon UTC did, but uh, a lot of a lot of us did. So what that does, it means IRAD goes down a little bit, and investment goes down, even though you still see major M and A's M and A's going. So it all de it, it depends on the business environment where we see that technology going, and uh, you know, do we want to own X percent of company rather than just buy, just buy the whole whole thing? So that's a when you start talking M and A and investment and getting into okay, are we going to invest in your A, B, C, or D funding round round? Complete and utter crapshoot unless 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 we're doing the grand full Monty, Monty. But uh, now I'd be interested in hear, hearing that it could complement what we're doing with Steel Steelbox, or you could be a competitor and uh, you know that that, that 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 that's fine. We like all our competitors. At the so, Vinny, one thing um, before we get on to our next question, one thing that you and I sort of mentioned offline, just talking about how you support companies, and this this reminds me of exactly that, right? So, for companies that are not ready for the full Monty, the sorts of M&A transactions, things that might be helpful would be going after a Cyber Phase One, and then perhaps going to someone like CACI for a letter of support or something similar, going after their Phase mm -hmm. Two. All of those activities will help you to get non-dilutive funding. 
and are also options for you to go out and make, raise more venture dollars, right? So if you want to go out and raise your Series A, your large seed round, a good way to do that is have a proof point by having a government customer and someone like CACI who's willing to write you a letter of support. So just saying if that's, you know, this is, might be a much earlier way that you can get involved with an organization like Finney's. Anything else to add to that before we go to the next question? Dead on target. Awesome. Thank you. All right. Next question uh, from Mod Tech Labs. They have a platform that processes imagery data faster using AI. Um, there's a lot of use cases across those agencies. What's the likelihood of working with multiple contracts or agencies, either at the same time or, you know, in sequence? If you have a, a tech on that, first, please reach out to me. I want to. I, I would like to talk. I would like to talk to you. You edge, edge processing is a good, is a good business to be be in using AI. AI. I mean, um, you know what they're doing with the, with the Jetsons and the ability to do, to do do advanced Im imagery and I, I, and identification and and play with that at the at the edge on platform platform is 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 key and critical. I think you have a. a a high probability, but what you want to do is do is focus there. If you go after every single opportunity, you're going to die. You need to figure out where you can where you can break in, and that could be as a sub to us. It could be a sub to you on a small business set aside. Set aside. It could be side. There are many different ways that ways that could, ways that could be that could be. But uh, that is something almost everybody is interested right now. Uh, National Geospatial in NG, NGA. Uh, if they're not in your sites. You uh, get a psyche valve. You, you need to be thinking in NGA and NGA. Anybody that is doing airborne ISR reconnaissance, uh, we do that. As a matter of fact, we handle all of the uh, ped for almost every manned Navy airborne asset, asset in existence. Existence. Uh, you know, there's a lot of a uh, lot, lot of business there. So, I'd love to talk with you more about about that. About that. That you have a lot of opportunity there. How you focus focus that and go after an opportunity specifically for the win. Win is gonna gonna figure out. Uh, you know. And, and picking the right right uh, break in point that's going to be what what's going to make or break you. Excellent. Do we have a next question? All right, from George Tan. Uh, how do we find the naval innovation RFPs? Good question. Good question. If Mem I just shot that to uh, uh, a, cu a couple guys at Capital Factory, a uh, factory at Compser, and uh, oh, who else? Uh, Duffy, Sean Duffy. Sean Duffy. So uh, I will, uh, I will, I will find that and repost it on my LinkedIn, my LinkedIn profi profile. It was a, it was a link to a, I think it's already, already passed. So the Navy was doing a, uh, doing a, uh, uh, a day on, on that. An organization called NAVC, uh, NAVC run, runs, runs that, runs that for the Navy, for the Navy. You can find them online. And, and not only that, the, the RIF, uh, if you're not familiar with RIF, RIF, I recommend Sivers over RIFs, but the, Riffs, but uh, Riff, Riff does have mo have money. Uh, some companies out of the fog, out of San Francisco, is a particularly good one. Have made a lot of money and actually developed a major product lines off of the off of that. So, you know, one thing you can do with the Sibbers and also the Riff, just because it doesn't happen to be this year, doesn't mean that the POCs that they list in there are not useful unto you. Unto you, you. I guarantee you the GS. 13 to GS 15 that is listed as a POC on there, there's about a 90% likelihood that they're still, they're still there. So if you see some there and they, you know, the company they gave it to, they could have gooned it up like uh, the proverbial Hogan's Hogan's goat. So if you, you go back and see the one from 2017, 18, 18, 19, and you say, man, I wish I would have been on that. Give that guy a phone call, shoot him an email, say, Hey, I've got, I've got an idea here. Here. Can you take 15 minutes of time? Can I, can I buy you you know, you can't buy a government person a meal, but you can buy them a cup of coffee, or they can buy you a drink. A drink. I mean, you know, there are there are limits of what you can what you can do, but get intel from them. It's free intel. It's available to you. You can you can find them find them on online. Line ex, exploit those. It, oh, so just because NAFC just had this event doesn't mean that you can't. Uh, it, it, they might have posted it online. Army Fires post everything they do online for ninety days. You can you don't have to have to attend the conference. Go and uh, go and watch it. <laughs> watch it at your own leisure. So good resource for you. Yeah, great. Do we have any other questions? All right, from Frank. Um, Vinny, we're seeing a lot of interest in our DevSecOps products that would make a good fit uh, for Platform One and DoD wide DevSecOps managed services. Would CACI be a good match for this type of product? Uh, yeah, everybody does DevSecOps nowadays, so of course we're interested in anything that makes DevSecOps better. Better. Uh, our Agile Solution Factory, factory, uh, factory would definitely be the place to go to go to with that. That uh, if you contact the small business office, they'll put you in touch with a lady named Ashley Strickland, uh, 
fantastic woman, a uh, single mother, two daughters, and she loves softball. Softball. She'd love to talk to you, guaranteed. Indeed. And I don't think you're going to find a major, a major program of record opportunity. You know, the, like the big, the multi, multi-billion dollar ones that has software that's not going to mandate DevSecOps ops, ops somehow, somehow, some, some company, some services uh, are doing it, doing it orga- organically. Navy's trying to, trying to not doing it as well as the Air Force, but the Air Force is doing a great, great job with it. Others, others, they're saying industry, go, industry, go to it. And the, and the problem they're having with it is, is government oversight requirements. Don't integrate with DevSecOps and Agile very, Agile very well. And we're actually helping the government pioneer how we actually actually do, actually do that uh, do that uh, with uh, RCAS and uh, IPSA programs for the Army. Yeah, that's a that's another super interesting point. Um, any other questions from Benito Fernandez? Uh, what is the time frame from first contact to funding? Do you guys work with inline quantum resistant encryption? That is a good, good, good question. Again, that goes to cash flow. Cash flow is more important to small, smalls. Uh, it, and you mean first contact with government or first, or first contact, first contact with a, with a, with a, with a company, company with, with a, with a major, major company. If you come knocking on our door, wanting funding that day, uh, that day get medical help, uh, help. That, that won't have, won't have happen. The, the government, it's possible, but hi, uh, highly, highly improbable. Uh, improbable, almost as improbable with uh, with us. And there's an answer. Answer. It, it depends. I uh, an organization for what you're talking about. Uh, IARPA and DARPA, especially I, IARPA. IARPA. I really think you ought to go check out the open BAAs that they have. They have open, open, and talk with some of the POC POCs they have have online. We do take a look look at different encryption methods. Uh, the same guy I alluded to earlier, Rob Dob- Rob Dobbin Spec, would be the guy uh, I or Nancy would refer. Refer to you, and I, I'd, I'd have a, I, I would have a passing interest in, in that for a possible out, a few out, out your, out your opportunities. Uh, one out of uh, San Diego in particular, I think it's we're looking 400 mil right now. So I'd like, I'd be interested in talking with you, talking to you about, about that. For I would plan on best case first contact to fund, first contact to funding, funding a year, a year nine nine months to a year is a very, you're smoke you're smoking. I mean, you're you're really smoking smoking now. Cert, certain things, let's say o, OTA. If the government's going to move on an OTA, or you can, if you have like an emergent thing that you can get on a sole source source contract, and the government does do a lot of sole source con- contract contracting. You can move pretty darn quick there, but there's a lot of ifs and a lot of caveats there there that have to fall fall into place. Realistically, plan on nine months to a year is your best case scenario for budgeting purposes purposes anybody that tells you anything different i would really uh i'd be leery of taking advice from them i might let them buy me coffee but i'd never let them buy me a drink very helpful uh benito so benito said sbir just for quick clarification it, it, oh 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 sb sbir sbir again again it, it depends on how fast the government is going going to move I am I am currently uh currently uh, awaiting an RFP on the government that was promised to us with ironclad our word in gold will give you our firstborn and it's three years late, uh so uh it late so they they just promised again I'll knock on I'll knock on wood I won't say what government organization it is but uh, is but there's a it, it totally depend totally depends on on government government and and government funding 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 government funding people like to think it's stable stable uh it's it's not it's not a government program manager. I can, I manager fits in with what's called a program element. I can move that at will without oversight from Congress. And believe me, I did. I, as, as needed, as needed to make sure that the fleet got the fleet and, and sailor got what they needed ASAP and ASAP in a prioritized, prioritized manner, manner. So there's no good answer to that other than it depends. Now, cyber money is more safe, more stable than a lot of other government funding because it's taken off the like rip. It's taken off the top of the overall overall R and R and D R and D D from the time that they actually issue issue it until you actually get a contract award. Normally, it's running about a year to eighteen month eighteen months. Sometimes it can go quicker. And again, again, you know, if they use a standard contract, are they going to use an OTA? Sometimes they have an IDI IDI IDIQ. They do, or a MAC. They put a bunch of bunch of people on. They throw a wide net, and then okay. It's a, okay. I'll award this to you off this this to in the in this one. So there, there's no real real good answer to that because there's so many different contracting routes a good program manager can use to get what he wants or she wants. Best PM I know is a woman. 
You got to remember to say that too. There's not oh. very many of us in this space, so you got to acknowledge where you see them. <laughs> oh, oh, she, oh, she, oh, she, she's totally, she's totally awesome. You'll, if you meet her, you'll never forget her. Excellent. Smarter than me. Well, so everyone, we've got about ten minutes left. If you have any remaining questions, make sure to get that you get them in now. Um, one question that I did have uh, for you, Vinny, while we're waiting for a couple more questions to come in. I, I don't know if you have any public examples, but do you have any examples of how you helped a company get through that process? At least someone, maybe someone at the earlier stage. I know you mentioned that you do a lot in the M&A uh, activity, but have you helped any earlier stage companies get through the SIBR phase one, phase two successfully to get onto larger contract vehicles? Hmm. Let me, let me see. I have these things called NDA, NDAs in place from Benny Watson Consulting pre khaki I can I say that or not? We can I'm skip not, it. <laughs> we can certainly <laughs> skip it. I'll, I'll, let me let me just uh, talk talk about two, uh, one one in one in particular. I'm not going to say the company company's company's name. They are actually uh, in competition with with uh, with us right now. I had to recuse myself from. So from, from from a few, but so from from the actual 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 thing, it was a was a very small very small business out, out of San Diego that San Diego, and they had an electronic war, warfare product that was a fun, fundamental mental, but it was something that I never thought I would discuss open source, open open source. They had done it done it completely unclassified. I was I would hope I was I was uh, amused amused and amused and horrified, amused amused happy and happy and horrified so horrified so. So, but we did, and what I highly recommend, and this is the best way to do it, you don't have to wait for the Sibber to come out. You can shape a Sibber. A Sibber. So I got, I took this company, and I knew the program, knew the program manager, but manager that was run, running that, running that, and and I, I uh, that, and uh, we we had we had coffee. And some of the best business meetings on this planet are done over good coffee. You don't want Starbucks. You want to go to the local coffee shop that produces the high quality stuff. Stuff. So we went and had had. Had some good, good, good coffee and uh, coffee, and I just, I, uh, on purpose, I looked at my friend when this person started talking about the uh, frequency hopping, spread spectrum si signals, tracking them, and etc. Open source, his jaw dropped. Then he showed him his laptop, and his jaw dropped even, even further, further. And uh, so I, I said, I said, you know, you know, it'd be a shame if, uh, you know, when when Cibber inputs inputs, it's time for you because program managers give inputs to the Cibber process, uh, process. Do you know why why we do that? Because we we would look that money that R and D money is taken out of out of the uh, DoD budget and assigned specifically to rifts and specifically to sibbers. So if I can get some of that money back in my in my budget and make the DoD D buy down what I, I I'm going to have to fund myself anyway, I'm going to do that. So if you have something that's nice, you shape that shape that sibber sibber and say you know I'm a small business. If you could shape this sibber when it's time for your sibber inputs inputs and believe me if it's going to buy down the wrist i know i need that already oh yeah it's it's going it's going in there and i'm i'm going to go to the guy who's running running sibbers sibbers for my entire program executive office and say look i want this sibber if, if sibber please get this selected and have him push this and prioritize that as much as possible you can actually make a highly paid gs15 15, 15 or military 06 6 in a way you're certain in a way give you for, give you free money advocating to to his boss at the p PEO to prioritize you to get on that server. So when the server comes out, out, you know, you know, here's my cut sheet, A, B, and C, A, B, C, and D. And if I had more money, I could do E, F, G. Well, in, in this, in this case, case, and this, this came out, I think it was in the 20, was it 2017, 18 servers, literally they, uh, <laughs> they cut and pasted, pasted what the cut sheet was and what, what we, uh, it was in this little one page white paper, that was the cyber, cyber requirements. So but when I saw that co come out, I kind of laughed and said, I said, you know, you can pay me for that cup of coffee. I, I bought you. You're buying me another, <laughs> me, me another. <laughs> we, we, we knew we, we knew we had, we knew we had, had, the, had, the, had the win, had the win. So what we did, did you know, we, we, we got that. Then, then, lo, then lo, lo and behold, once we had the, had the win, when after we got through the fundamental contracting execution, execution, I, I took him to the incumbent incumbent uh, incumbent company, a uh, uh, company. I don't want to give away too much information. You'll know who it is, who it is, uh, who, who it is, and uh, is. And again, cup of co cup of co cup of coffee. I said, uh, coffee is like you know, Don Donnie, Donnie. These guys just won just won the Sibber, and I know that uh, know that guy X wants to wants to integrate that into his program. I thought I thought you two you you two should meet. Two should meet, and perhaps you would be able to give him some advice on how he should possibly shape a Cyber Phase Two, 
too, because you know, program man the program manager would love to have more cyber money fund money other than his own R and D fund this capability for integration into you. Believe me, they I had to, they I had just created a friend friendship, and it's it's still that it's still there. <laughs> it's still there. There's so there's so actively shaping a cyber before it comes out is the ultimate way to win win anything. And that's really how you go after any any major acquisition. If you can shape it and create the requirement yourself. So doing so with an end user, with a with a program program manager, manager identifying who you need to go to to shape that in order to get that to come out on a cyber or get out on the next OTA, you are ahead of the ball get ball game, and and that that is the end goal. When you see your your work cut and pasted into a, requir a requirement, you know you have been successful, and you know you have a very high P win. P win. Why? Because you wrote the require <laughs> requirement. Right. Yourself. Right. No, that's a that's a great piece of advice. So listen, I think we've got one last question and then we're gonna wrap up here. So next question on screen, please. From VLB Marketing. Um, what kind of career opportunities does your organization have for veterans here in Texas, particularly active duty security clearance? Great oh, question. did you oh did you say you have a clearance? Uh, 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 <laughs> Send me uh, your oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Vincent.watson at CACI.com. You know, send me your send me your resume. I'd love to talk to you. I think right now CACI has got the uh, I don't know, over a thousand open job requisitions. It'd be a darn shame if we couldn't find one that might fit you, you know? So yeah, send me a resume. We'll see, we'll see what we can, we can do. We specialize in electronic warfare, but you know, if, if we can't, we can't help you, we'll find somebody, somebody who can, somebody who can, can clearances are too valuable for anybody to let, to really let fly. It costs a lot of money and it, it's a lot of time to get the, get the clearance. If you're within two years and you're not doing cleared work, go find a cleared job. Find a major prime, do some part-time on-call work, keep that clearance, keep that clearance, act, clearance active, active. Uh, no, there's plenty of plenty of work, and you don't have to. Remote work is an option as long as there's a facility, facility where we can we can uh, we can get get you get you into remote work is an option. Now some some people, anything in Aberdeen, Maryland, they Aberdeen, Maryland, bless their hearts, they they want it to be a local person, and I guarantee you, and I know this to be true. The unemployment rate for anybody with a bachelor's degree in electrical engineering within a fifty to one hundred mile radi radius of Aberdeen, Maryland, is zero. If you if zero, and they wonder why we can't, you know, I've got thirty, I've got a PhD who will who will do bachelor's work work, but they want him in Aberdeen, and he's not leaving Texas. So, uh, Texas. So, uh, it, it we'll, we'll try and do remote work as best best we can and find something for you. Shoot, shoot me a line. We'll see what we can do. All right. That was our last question. Vinny, thank you so much for coming and dropping all this wisdom for us today. I really appreciate it. And um, love to give you just, you know, two minutes here to just say your final goodbyes, thank yous, and, you know, give us any parting words of wisdom. Oh, Lord. Words of wisdom and Vinny. <laughs> near, 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 near the two shall meet. Uh, it tell me. No, folks, uh, I really, really appreciate everything Capital Factory is, is doing. Doing, I appreciate the opportunity to speak with you guys. Thank you for having me. Thanks for thanks for the thanks for the que question. And just want to want to say, if you're in business and you want to do business with business with with the government, with the government, eventually, you may or may not be successful. But if if you haven't failed, you haven't tried. Don't don't give up just because your first product doesn't 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 work. Work. Dust off it. Dust off and try it again. And if you go knocking to Raytheon and they don't want to talk to you, okay, go to somebody else or go back to Raytheon. Go back to Raytheon. It might just not just be the be the right time. Time. The U.S. government does billions of dollars in business every year with a lot of small business business set asides. If you've got a good work ethic, a viable a good work ethic, and a viable viable pro product. What others have done, you can do too. CACI was started on a park bench in Calif in California. Fornia, Fornia, and they grew, they grew that very very quickly. One of my best friends has an 8A company, multi million millionaire right now. He's run right right now. He started that business in a bar in a in, in a bar. The idea came to him and to him, and believe me, he wasn't exactly sober when he when it when it happened when when it when it, ha when it happened. You have got good ideas, especially if you are in the in the in the in, in the technical technical field, because the government wants to innovate in, innovate. The government needs to innovate, and we know that you the government knows that you can do that, but that better than major primes can in many many cases. They want to do business with you. Stick to stick to it. Find a good mentor like the Capital fa Factory. Find good investors like the Capital Factory Factory and good companies to work with, and you will be you will eventually be successful. I'm highly highly confident. And 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 if not, you gave it your all. You had a darn good darn good time. And believe me, there's there's work in this industry and, and world to do. 
to do. And hopefully, I hope everybody's successful. If we can help make you successful in any any way, help any way. Hey, if the partnership's right, we will do it. Fantastic. All right. Thank you so much, Vinny. And thank you all for joining us this afternoon. Have a great rest of your day. Bye.